Okay, so today's video is on uh, the Gata model. Okay, so the Gata model, those that are actually inclined, they understand what this model is all about. If you don't really understand the model, it's not a big deal. You can just Google the Gata model and then you try and see if you can understand uh, more specifically this video is for people that want to use legata model or want to fit legata model given that they have some data set or they want to play around the legata model and explore some stuff okay so let's get started all right so the I get started. So mostly look at looking at the first lines of code. We are doing this in R, okay? So that should be acknowledged. We are doing this in R. So those of you that you don't have R and can write similar codes in Python or whichever programming language that you are familiar with, it is still allowed. Don't really know if they are also in there, but I'm sure uh, these. Uh, would, would, would also be there okay so if we want to do that let's look at from scratch who or those who did the Likata model and so the Likata model if you know about it is the model that we use to estimate or to yeah to estimate the mortality rate or age or specific age groups across or across some years okay so you can have let's say age group 0 to 50 and then the years could be 1960 to let's say 2011 and you want to estimate the mortality rates for each age group across these years okay so mostly this is one of the mortality rate models you can also use so the first few lines from line 5 up to line 13 the kind of how the model came about is just some function that they wrote so this in this function we are trying to estimate the parameters of the model and we are using a library called the st normal library so if you don't have the STMO library, you can just go to packages and install the STMO uh, library because all that we're going to use in these steps are going to come from the STMO. Okay, so let's get started. When it comes to line 18, we are saying that binomial distribution for the number of deaths. Okay, so when you use lc equal to l small lc which is a function in the l in the st momo so you have to get the st momo package installed so that you can use the lc equal to link and then you do the logit so when you do this kind of say that you are assuming that the number of deaths uh, follows uh, binomial distribution and, and it's logical to assume that because it can be that in a in a number and then you have what you call deaths so some people can die others will not die so there are two possible situations you can have either a death or you survive so if you are interested in death then you can look at the probability of that and that can be assumed to follow a binomial distribution so let's run that so we are getting an error because we have not run the library package so let's uh, library momo package so everything has been done let's come and run our assumption that has been done so now we have assumed that the number of deaths in our data sets that we are going to use to demonstrate this follows um, binomial distribution so we go to the next one 
which is a data set which is in the ST Momo we are going to use to demonstrate or fit our model so to do that we have to extract the components we have to extract the number of deaths and so to do that this is the data name this is the data name and so we extract the deaths okay if you enter the data ring dollar sign pops up the first one dst is in fact the debt so we extract the number of debts when i run it has been extracted so that i can view the number of debts that we have seen and so normally it this is the matrix form where you have the age groups as rows and then the years as columns so if you look at this 665 it is the number of deaths for year group one at age at a, at the year or in the year 1961 um, if you come and look at 203 here which is also the the deaths the number of people who died for the same age group two in the year 1976 so that's how the deaths look like we can also extract the the exposure which means how many people how many people were there at the start of the year so the data contains the central central exposure which means how many people were there at the middle of the year so we need the initial exposure how many people were there at the start of the year and so together it has been shown that the initial exposure is equal to the central exposure plus 0 0.5 times the the deaths so we run that we get that too so we are ha we are having exposure to well done so it's also a matrix but in this case the items in there are the population size the population size at the start of the year for each year group across the various uh, time or years Okay, we can also extract the, the ages, the age groups. We can extract all of them by using this line of code. We can also extract the year, so you can see the ages that we are going to be dealing with. We start from zero, age group zero up to age group 100. We can as well look at uh, the years. We are also dealing with the years from 1961 to 2011 so that is what we are also dealing with now if you want to fit the model you might want to fit it for some range or some specific age groups you don't want to include everybody you want to just look at oh i want i want the i want to see the death rate for let's say 55 to 89 somebody will say no i want to look at the age the death rate from 0 to let's say 11 so here we are looking at we want to fit the model for age group 55 to 89 so that is why we have to do the line 30 so doing that we have we have that done so looking at our age dot fit that is going to give us those age groups that we want to fit the model for so if that is the case then we have to find a way to eliminate those that are not going to be included in our model so you have to give a weight so we are giving one one weight to the age groups that we are going to fit a model to and then we leave zeros will be given to those age groups that we are not going to fit a model so that is done using the wst so we are generating the weight running that we are giving these guys weight so all of them have been given weight one 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 so the others will be eliminated in the start okay so one thing you can check you can also check that if your your length because it has to be your length of your age dot fit it's not necessary but you can check all of that to do that so these lines of code might not be very necessary for now so now let's come to fitting the model okay let's fit the model itself and see what is going to happen let's fit the model itself so how do you fit the model you have to use the fit. Remember, this fit is in the ST Momo, so you need to get a package. And remember, we use a fit and then we specify the LC. Remember, we said the LC 